What's up, garden nerds? Today, we are going to nerd out again over grapes. I'm gonna give you four tips on how to keep your grapes away from pests like bugs, caterpillars, and birds. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video. Let's go. Yeah. All right, guys, so here are the four things that we're gonna cover. These are the things that are gonna keep your grapevines healthy and free of birds free of caterpillars, and free of all types of annoying pests like white flies. So let's first start with the white flies. Honestly, the white flies are the things that bug me the most. If you have a grapevine, you know what I'm talking about. When you walk by the grapevine in the middle of the day, or actually anytime, you just get bombarded with tons of white flies. They come up and they kind of fly in your face and they fly all over, fly by your feet and your legs, and they're really, really annoying. So. What I do to help with that is I get this Nature's Care Insecticidal Soap. It doesn't have to be Nature's Care, it doesn't have to be Miracle Grow brand, um, just some type of insecticidal soap. And what that does is it helps with those white bugs and all types of pests. You have to be diligent with this stuff. I put it on all the time. I put it on every day, every two days, um, every three days at least. Anytime I'm out early in the morning, or late in the evening, I spray my grapevines down. And I've, I've seen it help quite a bit. One other thing that helps with the white flies and with all types of pests are these. I bought these on Amazon, yellow sticky traps. And here's what they look like. Bugs are attracted to the color yellow for whatever reason. And so you get these and you peel back. Here's Ollie, he's gonna help. Say hi. You peel back this protective layer and then it's extremely sticky. And basically you just put these right in the middle of the grapevine and let the bugs fly to them and get stuck. A lot of people sometimes say that they're, they don't like these because they, they trap some of, the, uh, some of the bugs that you, the beneficial bugs. I've never had that. I've only had them trap the white flies in the other annoying pests. So that is step two for getting rid of pests. Step three. This is a really important step because this time of year, uh, mid-May, is when the caterpillars come, the leaf skeletonizers. So you wanna go and you wanna buy this from Home Depot or any type of store, uh, Thuricide BT. And what I do is I just get an old bottle like this and I mix it in and then I go to town spraying the caterpillars. Okay, so that's how you take care of the pests. Ollie was nice and moved this over here. How do you stop the birds from eating all the grapes? Well, you buy these organza bags. You can buy a lot of them on Amazon for super cheap. Once the grapes start growing, you simply um, slip this up under the bananas, tighten it, and I have never had a problem once these bags are on my grapes with the birds getting them. Not a problem at all. So super simple, cheap, easy fix to keeping your grapes free from birds. Okay, so let me demonstrate how I use all of these um, in real life. Okay, so the first thing again that we do to take care of our grapevines is we use this insecticidal soap. Now, basically you can just go to town on the grapevine. No rhyme or reason, just soak it. However, one thing that I will mention, the pests and the critters like to hang out inside the vine so don't just stand back and get the outside you got to get in here behind the leaves inside the grapevine all over as much as you can don't worry about doing too much you can't do too much with this stuff it's insecticidal soap it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt anything so go to town with the insecticidal soap that's the first thing for protecting our grapevines the second thing for protecting our grapevines are these sticky traps again with these the pests like to hang out inside the grapevine. So it comes with these little twisty ties. One tip that I'll give you, don't peel off the protective layer until they're inside the grapevine because they will stick to the leaves and you don't want that. So I basically just come right in here, get it inside, tie it up. And take off the protective layer. And then you sit back and it will collect the bugs for you. 
Let me show you one that I just put in this morning and I want you to see how many bugs it's already trapped. You can see in here, it is already going to town, getting those white flies or bugs or whatever they are that fly all over you when you walk by. So it's already trapping them. It's already doing its job. The traps get full pretty quickly because there's so many pests inside your grapevines. So I like to switch mine out like every two weeks. They're cheap enough on Amazon, so it's not a big deal. I'm always changing them out, catching the bugs. Okay, our third tip for taking care of our grapevines, the BT spray which I just mix into an old spray bottle. This stuff, you really have to be vigilant because as we talked about in the last great video, leaf skeletonizers will skeletonize your whole grapevine in a matter of days if you're not on top of it. With this spray, you don't just want to spray it all over the top like we were doing with the other spray. The caterpillars like to hang out on the back of the leaves. So you have to make sure that you're coming and you're spraying on all the backs of the leaves because that's where they hang out. If you just come here and you spray on the outside, it's not gonna work. You have to make sure, it's a little annoying, but you have to make sure that you're getting the backs of the leaves. This is one of the most important things. You have to use the BT spray. You have to be on the lookout for those caterpillars. As soon as they show up, if you wait too long, it's gonna be too late. Your grapevines are gonna be decimated. Let me show you an example. I have some right here. I'm gonna show you what they do. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that little guy hanging out right here, right by my thumb. That is the caterpillar. You don't want to let these things stay. I pull them out here. And I know that's nasty. Some of you probably don't like that. I just squish them and throw them to the ground. If you don't want to do that, just throw them in the trash and just burn them. But look at this, guys. This is why they call it the skeletonizer. See what they did to this leaf? Just completely skeletonized it, completely ruined it. Come over here. Look at this leaf. It's not a leaf anymore. That's what they'll do. If you are not on top of it, they will do that. And this, I noticed them on Saturday. Today is Monday and they've already done that. I already sprayed a little bit, so they're slowing down but I'm gonna be vigilant and I'm gonna to continue to spray all the time. Check them out. Some right there. Smush them, just smush them. Don't let them stay, they will ruin your grapevine. Okay, and then the last step, the fourth step to protecting our grapevines is using these organza bags to cover our grapes so that the birds do not get to them. This is super simple, this is the easiest step. So I come here, let's see, here's the grapes. Open it up, slip it over, make sure I get all the grapes in there. Grab the sides of the organza bag, and there you go. These bags are big enough. These are the eight inch by 12 inch bags. These are big enough to where it won't get too big. By, by the time they're ripe, they're gonna be bulging out of this bag, but that's okay. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Ollie is always my helper with the grapes. He loves the grapes. Um, these bags protect the grapes from Ollie. I always leave a few clusters that aren't covered so that Ollie can come out here and grab them. But this will protect it from people like Ollie and it will protect it from the birds. You don't have to mess, worry about the birds getting them. I've never had that issue uh, for three or four summers now. The birds do not infiltrate the organza bags. Yay! Yay! All right, guys, those are the four steps for taking care of your grapevines and making sure that the birds and pests and caterpillars and white flies do not take over your grapevine. Follow those four steps, do it diligently, do it often, and your grapevines will look awesome all throughout the summer and give you awesome grapes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe and like the video. Tell me what other videos you wanna see in the comments and I'll make it happen.